Hey guys, so we're not going to be doing the install that I had planned. Uh, but check out Trail Rated Coffee anyway. They got some great coffee. Yeah, so we're going to be heading up to PA today to help Jason out. 65CJ5. Check out this link down below and uh, check out his channel. But anyway, he's putting a stroker motor in his Jeep and we're going to go try and help him out. All right, check it out. So this is your cam thrust plate. We pulled the bolts out of it to verify that they put Loctite on it and they torqued them down. The bolts, bolts came out super easy. So I'm gonna put them back in with some Loctite, torque them down. Jason's getting the timing cover all cleaned back up so we can put it back together. I've only cleaned this like three times now, so. <laughs> He it's hates okay. me right now. I don't need <laughs> I made you pull everything about. I'm glad I have like three of every gasket and everything too, so I, I come prepared. <laughs> so let me show you something else that we're doing too. I noticed that the, the timing chain wasn't oiled. I don't ever put a dry timing chain on. Um, just because you know that's another moving part and it doesn't get oiled before startup. So we're soaking the chain in oil so it'll absorb some of that. That way it's a little bit easier on this engine when it fires up. So, yeah, he's got that almost done. We're gonna get it slapped back together. Be right back. Put the oil pan on. And put the oil pan back on for, what's the second time or third time? Yeah, this will be a third time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. So I made Jason pull everything off. So we could get that chain oiled. He's lining up the marks, gonna put the cam sprocket back on. It was a booger coming off, too. Yep. Uh, maybe one more? Or just slot, slack. Man, the days, that's gonna be tight. Yep. That's why you wanted me to do it, huh? No. There we go. There we go. Just wiggle it on. Sorry about the fan noise, guys. It's like 112 degrees outside. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> All right. So the whole reason why we lubricated the camshaft, or the uh, camshaft, oh my God. Timing chain. Timing chain. I'm working on two hours of sleep. Yeah, I really appreciate Rick being here. <laughs> so the whole reason we lubed that up is that is a dry spot in the engine, and you really need that lubricated when you go to fire a dry engine up because it's not going to receive oil for quite a bit until the, the engine actually builds pressure. So we went ahead and pulled that off, verified top dead center. So the lines are lined up right there. Yep. And if you look at the harmonic balancer, the line was lined up on that too, but yep. Or, or should be should be good. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to get the center bolt put in the camshaft sprocket, tighten that up, and then we're going to put the Time a cover on, and then we need to make sure it's flush. Yeah, and we need to make sure it's flush right here. We don't need no leaks. No, no leaks. I would grab the phone from you and start filming, but I didn't yeah. clean my hands up. <laughs> that enough, Rick? Right? Yeah, it's perfect. All right, so what Jason is doing, he's actually staking the plate on the oil pump cover so those bolts won't rotate out. They're only 70 inch pounds, eight Newton meters, which is nothing. So instead of using Loctite, which could get in the oil pump, we're going ahead and staking the cover on the oil pump so the bolts won't turn. Which is why Rick is here, because he's the master. Not really a master. Actually, I'm a master tech, but not a master. Oil pan bolts. Smaller studs and screws. Bolts, not screws, not screws. 80, 84, 86 foot, or inch pounds. Yeah, we got it at 86 to... Just right for the extension. For the extension. And then the... the Bigger ones, like this guy up here, will do to 
132, I think it was. Plus, would you add three inch pounds? Mm hmm. Oh, and this thing is nice though. It just beeps at you like, yep, you got it. <laughs> so we did put uh, we did put some RTV in the corners here, uh, above and below the gasket, where the timing cover meets the. Uh, Oil pan and back here to the rear main seal as well. What do you call this, Rick? What is this thing for? Just kind of like a dust cap or? Yeah, it's just a uh, crank cover. Keeps the uh -huh. dust out of the back of the rear main seal. That was Chrysler's uh, answer to the rear main seal issues that they were having. I bet that did a lot, didn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what we say that was? 132. Yep, Newton, or uh, engine pounds. pounds. I have to pin it every single time. Plus three? Yeah, for the extension. Oops. I think it's only this one, Rick. I think all the rest were smaller heads. Yep, there's only two of them. Doesn't feel like much, does it? No. All right, I want to show you how organized Jason is. He went in the house to go get a Ziploc bag. Look at this. He's got a paper towel on the desk here. 10 millimeter, 15 millimeter, 18 millimeter. And then look, all his bolts are in order. We took the timing cover off. He put all the bolts in order for the timing cover. This guy is super organized. I'm, he's my champion. <laughs> All right. guys that's gonna do it got cam broke in he's pulling it out of the shop right now let's check it out it's having trouble with the new clutch it's too light That's done to do it guys. We'll see you later.